Beloved in the Lord, my name is Akua. I welcome you to my channel. Now, if today is your first time meeting me here, I am an oracle of God. I speak the mind of God as the Holy Spirit gives me all trance. Now, if you're already part of this journey, if you're already part of this family, how are you doing? Hope all is well with you. So today, today, I have a secret to share with you. This came to me in place of prayer. I wrote it down. I've never had the release to talk about it. Until today, the Holy Spirit inspired me to talk about this. Now, let me let you understand something. This is not about encouraging women to stay in abusive marriage. No, it's not it. This is also not encouraging you to walk out from something you can actually pray about or work through but this is rather something the holy spirit laid on my spirit a secret that he revealed to me and i said what am i keeping to myself let me let the lost children know about this now listen this may not be for everyone so pray for your own confirmation if you are in doubt talk to the holy spirit about it you are not obliged to take anything your spirit does not accept that out of the way let's dive into the word for today now this message is for a divorced woman this message is for someone who just walk out of a long-term relationship so if your marriage has failed or you have lost something and you are trying to understand the will of god for your life this message is coming to you please Please, I beseech you by the mercies of God, watch to the end. I know you'll be blessed. So this is more like how to live after a failed marriage or how to live after a failed relationship. Number one, let's, you must learn to marry Jesus as fast as possible. Let me explain this. When there is a vacuum, something will fill it up. There is no empty vacuum. So because you have been in a relationship for so long and probably there's someone checking up on you, there is someone making provision, there is someone all that, you haven't learned to marry Christ. You haven't learned to be the bride of Christ. So now that this relationship or marriage has failed, I'm not happy about it. But life happens sometimes. So if this has happened to you, the first thing you do is to marry Christ meaning that you have to learn to fall in love with Christ again and replace that lost replaced that vacuum with Christ you have to marry Christ he has to become your husband your fiance your lover your everything if he becomes that you will not be in a hurry to fill that emptiness with anything outside the will of God for your life by experience there is something i've noticed that anytime you walk out of a relationship you want to fill in that gap quickly so that you don't feel the hurt or you don't feel the emptiness that will lead to another disaster so the best thing to do is to marry christ accept this jesus if you're already a believer you have to fall in love again speak to him tell him everything you are feeling your troubles, your doubt, your insecurities, everything. In fact, start afresh with Christ. That is the only way that you find joy again. And I promise you, he's faithful, he's loyal, he will stick with you through it all. He will never reject nor deject you. He will never cheat on you. He is all that we need. He is the perfect gentleman for every woman that has just walked out of a, a marriage, that has just walked out of a bad relationship. You know something? There is an African adage, especially a Ghanaian adage, that says that no one killed the chicken that lays the egg. So if there is a reason, then there is a cause. And so I'm not here to judge you. All I'm saying is that fall in love with Christ again and you'll find that joy. And the second point I want to talk about is that fall in love with yourself. You have to fall in love with yourself. You have to rediscover who you are. You see, there is a reason why God in his wisdom sent his only begotten son to die for you. 
if God can choose his only son to come die a humiliating death just to rescue you to draw you close to himself then there is something important about you there is something amazing about you that Jesus will die for you for so you must die for yourself also you must love yourself that much you must rediscover your talent you must rediscover your potential you must rediscover loving yourself because even bible tells us love your neighbor as you love yourself the standard of loving someone is the same standard you set for yourself by loving yourself because if you don't love yourself there is no way you'll be able to love somebody else sometimes we become men pleasers sometimes we want to you know love people more than we love ourselves that is hypocrisy at its best and it, it is a very good recipe for disaster so this is the time to step back from the noise step back from the pain step back from the confusion and love yourself rediscover you rediscover the potentials in you rediscover why Jesus will die for you why because he loves you and if jesus loves you that much you must learn to love yourself so this is the time to love yourself all over again don't be in a hurry to jump into a new relationship i've been there honey it was a disaster don't do it don't do it don't do it don't do it thirdly don't be in a hurry to replace the past you see, if the reason why you left a relationship, a marriage, something, is another man, then what you are trying to do is you are trying to use a fallible, incomplete man to measure another incomplete person. Why am I saying incomplete? No man is complete in themselves. No man is a total package. No man can be a source of joy for you. So if I leave man A for man B, I'm going to use man B as a standard to measure against man A. Then I'll probably find out that man B doesn't have it all. Maybe there is something about man A that I love, but I don't love something else about the person. And so if you don't take care you jump into a wrong relationship just to prove a point just to feel that vacuum of hurt and so instead of leaving man a for man b what do you do fall in love with christ listen there's something that i did that gave me a breakthrough let me share that with you if i left man a for man b man b become a standard man b become a joy for a season and it never lasts long but if i leave man a for christ jesus then christ becomes the standard christ becomes you see in the bible it says that man love your wife as christ loved the church and gave himself and so if i have loved if i left man a and i've come for christ and i'm in love with christ and i'm bonding with christ and i am staying with christ my taste in men even changed my perception about men change christ becomes the standard so your next relationship everything that is in your mind that is not of god but yet they satisfy your carnal soul will not become a standard for you so you will now look at a man that comes to you as you are looking at christ if you cannot find that christ in that man you will back out you will not be thinking oh is this man for me let me pray about it no as soon as you don't see the traces of christ in that man you step back because why you left man a for christ and christ has groomed you so even your taste in men will change so never leave a for b but leave a for christ and by the time jesus finished with you you become a complete woman you become a woman that is in love with herself that is in love with god that is in love with everything around you that you will not sacrifice your joy for a temporal relationship for something that cannot feed your soul nor your spirit trust god in every process and every season seasons don't stay permanently seasons change seasons change all the time but god is still the same yesterday today and forever so if there is anything you can depend on 
It is depending on this God that doesn't change. And so trust God in every season of your life. It may be lonely now. It may be confusing now. But as long as Jesus remains on that throne, there is a surety in his word that it will end well with you. You will not be put to shame. And lastly, never make a hasty decision by following another married man because you are divorced. I promise you, the first thing the devil will permit or create to come to you will be men that are not available emotionally, physically. They, are, they will be married men and they will promise you everything. Probably you are not used to working and taking care of yourself. So they may have the money and they may not be, they will not have the commitment that you need. But because you need the money to take care of yourself and other things, you will leave a cheating man and follow another cheating man that is cheating on his wife. And you will justify it because you are hurt. Understand this? Hurt people can hurt sometimes. So please, don't settle and follow anybody's husband because you are hurting. Rather, spend time to love yourself. I pray for you that you'll find joy again. I pray for restoration for you. I pray that the same Jesus that restore all broken wounds, that there are no traces to it, that same Jesus will meet you at the point of your need. Be encouraged. It is not over for you. It is well with you. My name is Akua. This is my channel. And so if you want to be part of it, hit the subscribe button and follow me on Telegram. I organize midnight prayers and on YouTube, early morning prayers. I am a woman that is on a divine assignment. I want you to be part of this journey. God loves you. I love you. Stay blessed. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.